Hi, my name is Gordon and this is Nine White Deer Brewery. So in the last video, you saw us filling up the kettle from the mash tun. We were transferring the wort over. This video today is all about the kettle. We're going to fire up the kettle, get it up to boil. So it's going to be steam, going to be noisy, going to be explaining hops, what they do, why we do it. And um, stick around, hope you enjoy it. Our wort is now in the kettle. We've turned it on. We put our brewing salts into it. So they're calcium chloride, lime scale and gypsum, which is uh, crushed up rocks and stuff. That's to give the water profile what we need for brewing this uh, beer. And it kind of accentuates either the hops or the malt or changes the bitterness to sweetness ratio on it. And it makes quite a big difference in the beer. So it's important that you have them dialed in if you're brewing at home. So you can probably hear it behind us. Uh, the kettle is going, Ian has fired it up there and we have steam going into it. So. This big long tube that you see behind me is an external wort boiler. Really, it's also called for any engineering or technical people. It's really just a shell and tube heat exchanger. So we have the wort is going up through tubes. There's about 40 tubes running up through it. The steam goes around it and we get an energy transfer. So the steam ends up heating the, the wort uh, to bring it up to boil. In one sense, we're very lucky that we're using steam. We designed this brew plant ourselves, built it ourselves. It allowed us to do things that you'd normally only see on big breweries. A lot of breweries this size start off with using electric elements to heat. But if you ever burnt something in cooking, like has been known to happen, uh, you get what's called a Maillard reaction. And there the sugar is caramelizing on the outside in a steak or in a stew that's desirable but not necessarily in a light pale ale. On some darker beers, you can be looking for it, um, but you don't want it happening all the time to every beer. So with that in mind, we put the steam system in and the steam is only running at 105 Celsius. So it's only just above the boiling temperature of wort or water. Compare that to an electric element where the surface temperature can be up to 250 Celsius and you're gonna get caramelization burning of the wort and some of those flavors can impact and come through. What is the purpose of boiling? Why are we boiling? So there's three main things in it really. We want to sterilize the wort, we want to stabilize the wort and we want to improve the flavor of it by cooking it or boiling it as such. So if we go to the first one of them for sterilization, we're obviously bringing it up to over 80 degrees if we're boiling it. Um, we're not up on top of a mountain here. That's going to kill off anything that's living, any yeast, any bacteria that would have came in with the malt. We want to choose our own yeast. So we need to kill all them off. So stabilizing really means when it's packaged beer that it doesn't start turning into something you haven't intended post packaging out in the bottles or cans or in kegs. We'll knock out proteins from amino acids mostly. Uh, they'll coagulate together in the boil, so they'll, they'll clump together, they'll fall down out of it, and we'll separate them, and we're left with a cleaner beer for it. And so the last part is we want to dissolve any hop bittering materials that are in the hops, um, mainly your alpha acids, which are going to impart their bitterness into the beer, and they need to be ob above a certain temperature for them to dissolve. So we say craft brewing uses a lot a lot more hops than uh, large-scale industrial brewing where their goal really is to try and minimize the spending. Our goal is to try and maximize the flavor and that's a big difference between macro and micro brewing or craft. And we introduce hops at different stages in the brewing. The earlier we add the hops, the more bitterness is extracted. The later we add the hops, the more flavor and aroma is extracted. So if we boil something a lot, then the flavors and the aromas are the most delicate part of it, and they're just boiled off. So if we want to retain them, hops need to go in last. So one of the benefits of boiling the wort is that it coagulates all the trub together. So the trub is uh, bits of undissolved hop debris, coagulated proteins, as we spoke earlier, and some small bits of malt that have got through the, the mashing process and made their way into the kettle. So we want to get rid of all of them and we want to flocculate them out so as they all stick together, 
fall down the bottom of the kettle and we can get them out or leave them behind as we take the, the wort on the way to the fermenter. Mm -hmm.